We should be proud of what we've done in this country together to battle all kinds of discrimination, discrimination based on gender and race. And yet one type of discrimination seems to be embraced and has been allowed to fester, ageism, the prejudice or discrimination of a person because of their age. The stereotypical portrayal of people of a certain age in movies and on television is that they're slow, they're confused, or they're angry. Get off my lawn. In fact, that line is used all of the time on social media to make fun of a person who is a little bit older and tries to engage in debate. And it's used to make fun of people who are running for president. It would seem that ageism is the last socially acceptable form of discrimination. And I'm guilty of it too. In a recent commentary, I was lured by the ease of ageism to make a cheap sight gag. I commented that although the Democratic presidential field is the most diverse in history, it is led by two old white guys. And then I used the Sesame Street characters, Waldorf and Statler. It was wrong of me to do, and I won't make that mistake again. The fight against ageism should be important to us all because we're protecting our future selves. One day we're all going to get older and we're gonna to wanna to be treated with dignity and respect. And I'm a lot closer to that point than most of you watching. In Asian, African, Greek, and Native American cultures, elders are treated with veneration. The society depends on the wisdom that comes from their experience. But Western culture has a youth fetish that flips that paradigm and as a result makes ageism an accepted practice. We see these images all the time of skin creams, workouts, cosmetic surgery, anything to stay young, as if aging is the ultimate cultural sin. We are inundated with these images and when youth is desired above all, there is a necessary disdain of getting older. And it spills over into our workplace where age discrimination is a growing problem. Americans 65 and older are now the nation's fastest growing working demographic. Now there are good and bad reasons for that trend. On the positive side, in a thriving economy, we need more workers and people are living longer and healthier lives. On the negative side, a lot of those people have to work because they haven't saved enough money for retirement and they have to afford the ever rising cost of prescription drugs. It is no wonder that the filing of age discrimination claims has doubled in recent years. And a recent survey by the AARP found that 61% of older workers have felt age discrimination in the workplace. Older workers often feel isolated in the workplace and they're fearful that they will be the first to lose their job when the economy takes a bad turn and that leads to depression and other very real medical problems. It is important that if you are over 65 and working, you know your rights. For instance, in the private sector, you cannot be forced to retire under the Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1967. A good place to learn more is the AARP, a tireless advocate for older Americans. Laws are great, but we need a cultural change. We need to accept aging as a natural part of life and respect the experience of older Americans in the media, in the workplace, and in our lives. I'll start by being more cognizant of my small media role and promise no more of that. Well, that sure made us LOL. Laugh out loud? No, lose our lunch. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm Larry Menti. Talk to you again soon.